Hey, welcome to Chill Squirrel. And thanks for wanting to learn more about Kalahari. My name is Matt. I'm founder of Chill Squirrel uh, since 2014. And um, my experience with electric bikes uh, was actually a, a very lucky one. I was lost in the mountains of Taiwan and uh, someone with an electric bike actually helped me get back to uh, civilization. And, um, you know, I don't know if you know Singapore and Taiwan and uh, Southeast Asia, uh, the temperatures and the humidity, uh, it being very much on the equator, it was very dehydrating and very hot and very humid. So some days I really didn't feel like cycling and I wasn't that fit, to be honest. And my friends uh, wanted me to go more than I wanted to go. So I would say, you know, one day I don't want to go and the next day I'd go and then I'd regret going because I didn't have enough energy. So um, once I was introduced to the world of e-bikes, I realized that it was a whole game changer for me. I mean, I could ride, keep fit, stay fit. And also, uh, if I didn't feel like riding and I'd use some assistance and uh, I would always actually want to go riding, I'd be more confident to want to go riding. And uh, it actually made me want to introduce e-bikes to my family and friends. And uh, I became very passionate about it because I would even then end up riding to work because an e-bike is so, uh, you know, unlimiting. <laughs> you, you can literally uh, ride anywhere, anytime and feel like you're in charge and you're in control of the situation. So electric bikes, if, if this resonates with you in any way and you still want to stay fit, but you want to enjoy yourself, you're not that competitive cyclist type person, you want to enjoy yourself and sometimes you just want to turn off and ride normal you don't need to ride electric with an electric bike that's the beauty of electric bikes so today we're going to specifically talk about um, the kalahari which is the bike right here behind me kalahari is an electric fat bike it has the fat tires which scrunch up the debris and absorb the shock shock and absorb you know uh, from the bumpy road but what's good also about it is that it can ride on beaches where you can let the tires down and then just glide along the sand. So with fatter tires, it's a lot easier to ride on dunes and soft sand. Um, but it's also, you can ride anywhere. And also, let's face it, it does look cool. It's a cool looking bike. However, ideally, you need to find out if it's the bike for you and it ticks all the boxes. So with a fatter wheel bike, you are losing some of the range, the distance that you would probably, uh, that you may need uh, if you're commuting. Um, so if you just want to look cool, but you want to get extra range, probably not the bike for you because you can co look cool on another electric bike. You don't have to uh, give up the, the range just to look cool. So, um, but this particular uh, a fat bike does take up more because of the resistance, the fatter wheels, uh, it chows up more of the battery. So you're looking at a person of about 100 kilograms is going to do around 50 to 60 Ks um, on a full battery load. And that's in medium level of power. Now, when I talk about power on this bike, it has an integrated system. And as I told you earlier, if I didn't, uh, we've been building electric bikes since 2014. And our first electric bike was a fat bike. And what we found is with a mid-drive that's integrated, you have a much uh, a better durability um, and much longer lasting because the salt spray, it, you know, it doesn't touch the motor. And also it's well protected inside you from rain and debris and rocks and everything. And also the battery is well protected inside the frame. So we found that with this big motor, the 160 Newton meters up to a thousand watts, people say, oh, I don't need so much power. But the beauty about this motor is that you can ride at 250 watts, 350, 500, 750, 1000. You can choose the level of power that you want. So if you only want low power, you can ride at it. But let's say today you're going up somewhere really super steep. And let's face it, you don't know uh, when you're going to be riding on very rough or very steep terrain. So you actually have that uh, to access if you ever need it. And if you want to ride, as I said, low power, you can. So um, always nice to have something a little bit 
uh, higher in terms of power that if you ever need it, you can access it. And then what we've also done is we've installed a gear sensor. You'll see this little plug over here. And what it does is it will prevent wear and tear because as soon as you touch your gears, you are going to cut the motor the power will go off. There's a sensor here that sends a message to the motor that you're changing a gear, and therefore the torque that goes to the chain will be reduced. And so that's the important thing, especially with, with a mid-drive motor that has very high torque, is in terms of preventing wear and tear, is to have that gear sensor in place. And you also have the new Tektro E500 hydraulic disc brakes. So with that, is as soon as you touch the e-brakes, the motor cuts as well, even just slightly. And so these brakes are uh, something that will show you of complete safety or stop you when you need to. Uh, if you're carrying a load, these brakes are very powerful, very sensitive, and, um, and uh, will prevent you any safety issues, like especially if you're carrying a load and going down a hill. And um, we focused very much on comfort on the Kalahari because people will be riding on, uh, you know, maybe beaches, jeep tracks, trails, and that kind of thing. But this is more of a casual ride. This is not for the competitor ride, competitive rider uh, that's wanting to win competition. So uh, it's normally for a person. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, a lot of people that have come to us have said that they have lower back pain, neck pain, or tingling hands, discomfort in their hands or their neck. So what we've done is we put on an adjustable stem and you'll see the stem can be adjusted actually to 90 degrees. You'll see it's at one angle here, which is about 45 degrees, but this can be adjusted to 90 degrees. So you can adjust your, uh, if your arms are long or shorter, you adjust it according to your arm length and your height. And that actually really puts you into the right sitting position when you are riding Kalahari. That's the first thing where we've focused on in terms of comfort. The second thing is, uh, this is the seat post. Now the seat post is what basically comes up to the saddle. And there's the seat post. And you'll see over here, it's a little bit different. This one has a suspension inside it. And that will absorb any shock that comes from the rear that's hitting up from the bottom, any rocks or anything that you hit will be, uh, will, you know, you will prevent the shock from going up into your lower back. Uh, so that's a really a great uh, form of, of reducing the shock on the back. And then also um, we have the comfort saddle. And so the memory foam com comfort saddle um, has a cutout and this will actually stimulate uh, blood flow in your groin area, but also you have a recovery area. So memory foam will remember the shape of your butt and this, um, this will be made for you basically. This saddle will be, uh, you know, matched to your uh, particular butt um, in terms of uh, comfort. And so you know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't need such a, a, you know, a comfort saddle, something like that. I'm telling you now, when you're riding for 20, 30 Ks, like you normally do, um, you, you think that you may only ride for 20 or 30 Ks, but on an electric bike, you just reach that distance so quickly and you, you enjoy yourself so much that you actually end up riding long distance. So you may not ride longer than 20 to 30 Ks, but at least if you do, you've got that comfort there for if you need it. Another thing we've done is uh, you'll, you'll, quite, you'll see on the back here, because there's nowhere to keep your uh, H2, your water bottle holder on the uh, down tube of here where your, in, your integrated battery is, you'll see that we put the water bottle holders at the back. Now you don't need to put so many, you can just put one or two, but the water bottle holders are at the back here. And if you want to really carry three, cause you're going on a, you know, 60 K uh, ride or something, and you want water for your partner as well, you can carry it on the back there. And what's great about this, this also takes two canister holders on it. So these are small mountain bike ones, but you, uh, well, for the fat bike, we'll take this cartridge, which is the 25 gram for the bigger, fatter wheels. So now if you get a puncture and you've now repaired your puncture and you want to blow your tires up, or if you've let down your tires um, to go onto the, the softer sand to make it easier for you to ride, and now you want to blow it up again, here you have your cartridge. It comes with an adapter. 
um, that you just basically fit onto your uh, valve at the back and you know you just blow away and this blows up your tire in a jiffy so nice having that you know if you're in a desolate area and you need uh, to carry extra uh, things on a rem in a remote area you have that right here under your saddle sitting there like that um, and then also talking about extra carry uh, space we also are including this month this is really really nice it's a waterproof bag um, it has the extra rain coat cover on the front that sits that that you wrap over like that i'll just take it off now to show you so this bag um, comes with a special holder bracket that goes onto your handlebars. So you can take it off. So you just basically uh, fit it on and then you can carry your bag with you. But this bag is great. It is um, very nice quality and it's got a lot of space on it. Lots of little pockets to keep all your stuff in. If you want to keep a puncture kit or your, a small pump or you know whatever you want to keep in here, uh, even a lunchbox, you can actually carry it in here. And then when you, if you do want to take it off your bike, you, you can just slip it off. And if you want to put it back again, you just slip it back onto your handlebars like that. And it locks in place the moment you put it in. And it's just a little button that you need to push there to take it off. And it's actually not easy to see that button. So if you don't know how to take the bag off, it's, um, you know, it's a kind of like a deterrent for someone to steal. Um, so that is uh, the waterproof bag. Um, and then also the uh, one thing I want to cover is when you are going off-road, you probably want to have your phone with you and to, to check GPS and maybe even charge your phone while it's on the handlebars. And so what we're including is this universal cell phone holder and you just adjust it according to your size of your phone and it sits on your handlebars like that and then you can then charge via your lcd display you'll see we have a fantastic little uh, color lcd display uh, with a c connector usb that you can just plug it in um, you see all the details of the lcd display uh, down here in the information um, but that is really nice and it's safe because it's actually right in the middle of the handlebar so you can have it you know to to really see your phone and it, it's a raised a little bit higher so you're not sort of taking your eyes off the road uh, you can see it with your peripheral vision um, another thing guys is to carry the is to is to cover the group set so the group set on here is a shimano dior it has a large cassette on the back and um, it is a 10 speed Dior and you'll see the size of the granny gear here. Now you'll be asking yourself, oh, do I really need a granny gear that size? Well, you don't with that motor, to be honest. But if you want to get better range, um, having a big granny gear is very helpful because it's like a manual car. You don't go up a steep hill in fourth or fifth gear. You go in second or third. So what's, what's great about having this is it helps the motor uh, in, in terms of not being able to, not really struggling to get up those hills. Or if you are on the very soft sand, getting into that granny gear or into, the, uh, into those gears will really help the motor and then also improve your energy and your, your range. Uh, now I'm very, very excited to tell you about this. This is an inverter which uh, plugs into your eel battery. It is specifically made for your eel pro battery. So let's say you're camping or you're on the beach and you run out of power um, for your devices and you don't want to charge your cell phone through your display, but you may have an iPad, you may have a cooler box that is run by electric, or you have an um, uh, iPad, or you may have a laptop with you, um, or another type of device that requires charging. Here you have uh, a, in, an inverter, which is included with this month. It is absolutely phenomenal. It has a, a big torch, which is great if you are camping and you need extra light. It can, you can plug in you know, small devices, even a small TV. And then it also has uh, the C connector, uh, USB and then a larger USB um, connector over there uh, for your laptop or other devices. So really, really nice if you're going on those longer camping trips and as a backup uh, inverter for your battery. 
Um, then I would like to tell you about something that really is going to prevent a lot of uh, corrosion if you are riding and just leaving salt air on your bike. Let's face it, even though the frame is alloy, keep in mind that with salt air, anything will corrode. So with Worth Multi, you can basically spray it on your bike and it's going to even the smallest little bolt, screw, washer, it's going to prevent it from uh, corroding. So I would really use multi. Some people have said they use it two or three times a month when they just after they ride, they clean their bike and then they use it and they say that basically lasts up to a year. So uh, you're probably looking at a minimum of six months with it. It's included with this. Guys, please use it if you are riding on the, especially if you're riding near anywhere near the coast. Um, it will, and I've seen bikes two, three years old and that have used multi and that um, you, ca you can't even see any corrosion. So it really works. And I want to tell you about the rear carrier that's on the back here. So um, I've actually uh, gone and cable tied that one on just to show you how secure that, that sits there. Uh, if you do want to, if you're a type of person that wanting to carry stuff or go fishing or um, transport stuff, then you'll know that box can be go that can go in the back in, on the back and also on the front. But this is just to show you the carrier. Um, you know, wh while it's off the bike, it has two arms that securely fit onto the frame. So the frame is actually made specifically uh, for these arms, or these arms are made specifically for this frame. There are lugs there that it. Uh, screws into so the rear carrier sits very fast on the back it's uh, very very durable and very uh, firm and then also you'll just see um, that we do have a rod holder if you want to order that that's uh, for two rods some people want to go fishing off the off the beach or wherever they're going fishing and they want to take rod holders with them you can do that um, and you can actually have the rod holders with the box as well. So the rod holders will be coming out there like that. Just to give you an idea. And then your front carrier is actually quite big. It takes the, the box. So I'll just give you an idea of the size of the front carrier. Um, there's the front carrier. And you'll see this is the size of the box. Um, it's a fair size. And it can actually be cable tied in the front there. But some folks like to put in a, like a basket or something like it for their dog or, or a smaller bait box or whatever works for you. But just to give you an idea, this is a solid, solid front carrier and it can take up to 35 kilograms in the front of the bike. It's got uh, reinforced brackets over here that fit with the arms going down here. So it's actually connected in on either side of the fork and then also in the middle of the fork as well it's solid and then it's got the led front um uh, front light here which is we then connect to the front of the carrier over here so you've got your light that doesn't interfere and get in the way um then also i want to show you something also uh, that's included is mud guard so if you are riding any uh, muddy terrain and you wanted to prevent anything from flying up dirt or uh, you know mud and that um, you do have this that goes on the back it covers you fully for your back tire and then also this one uh, for your front and these are uh, fat bike specific so you're not going to have those little mario biscuit mud guards these are going to cover you proper for your four inch wide uh, fat wheels and so that is the mud guards. And also I want to show you something which is more of a deterrent uh, for your bike getting stolen. People ask us, you know, how can I prevent my bike from getting stolen? Well, obviously the ideal thing is not let it out of sight. But sometimes you're parked over there and you're not too far and you want to be able to hear if someone's tampering with your e-bike. So this little... Uh, alarm disc alarm is light and what's great about it is you can just pop it into the bag that I was just telling you about the front it hardly takes up any space you can even put it in a side pocket and it still won't even take up a side pocket space but it, it's very light very easy and it's a disc alarm uh, alarm lock and and uh, lock lock and alarm so basically it will if, if someone tries to push your bike uh, it's going to be on your rotor and they're not going to be able to push it more. And then as they start pushing it, 
it's going to start going off like that. And then as they then start playing with your bike, unless they have a key to take it off, it's going to, you know, going to be your e-bike your e is going to be ringing like crazy and people are going to be looking and they may just run away. So it's more of a deterrent. It can go on your rear or your front rotor. Some people say, oh, well, they'll just take the wheel off. Yes, they will, but this alarm will be going off while they're trying to take the wheel off. So uh, it is, as I say, a deterrent for theft. And that's also a really nice addition. It's also included with the special this month. And guys, um, I want to tell you also that uh, because we are a, an e-bike brand, that especially with the fat bikes, it's more casual. We do go for and put on a very nice quality wide platform pedal over there. So um, you're covered. You know, a lot of people are looking at these uh, very small, especially with a fat bike, very small little pedals. No, this is uh, to give you some extra push for your push down. Nice uh, large surface area, um, lightweight um, uh, pedal, wide platform. Really, really nice for your Kalahari, which is upgraded from just the normal one that uh, that goes on the bikes. And um, I think there may be a couple of things that I haven't covered here. If I haven't, I'm going to cover it in the section below here. But also, you need to know if an electric fat bike, Kalahari, is the bike for you. And if you don't, you're not sure and you have some questions, Please let our team do the assessment for you. There's a few questions. All you do is click on, uh, click on that now. It will come up in your email and you just type in why or no, yes or no for those answers. And then our team will assess your needs, uh, get deeper into you know, what, what's your weight, where you're going, what do you want to do, and then advise you accordingly. But thanks very much. And um, I hope to see you uh, riding an electric fat bike real soon. Cheers.